Hey, guess who's back? Um, okay, he's just not going to say anything. Good to know. Cool. We're back with the story that doesn't make me want to drive my head through a fucking wall. Don't worry, we're done with that one. You can breathe now. I think the thing that pisses me off the most about this, about that really is the fact that there was no actual conclusion. I mean, if there was, we'd still be reading it, and I'm kind of okay with not doing that. Nice. I choose to believe that Mal Tony was sent by the gods to assassinate Harry. That's, what? That sounds like what? a plan to me. <laughs> <laughs> what? Just... What? what do you know? I... What? <laughs> it's just, okay. The... The um, we're done with time to fix the mistakes. It ended yeah, with finished. no real conclusion, and it just left us with pain. So, <laughs> <clears throat> I made a joke about a character for a series I'm working on, which weirdly enough also ties into a tabletop RPG that I have decided to start working on because I hate myself, and I do actually intend to create like enemy sh uh, like character sheets for all of the different characters I have set up for that world as like NPCs. Mm -hmm. So have fun trying to figure that one out. <laughs> Dear God, a Maltoni character sheet. <laughs> oh, that would be fun. You'd probably have to have character sheets for everything they could summon, too. Well, those would basically just be, like, creature sheets. True. Also, there's the whole character development with that thing, so that kind of depends on where they are. And are. But we're back with the story that just won't die, <laughs> which... It's okay with me, because it's actually not terrible. The vampire with the ass that just won't quit. <laughs> <laughs> uh. All right, so shall, shall we start this, or are we just going right. to... Dear God. Well, we haven't gotten confirmation from one person, so who the fuck knows? <laughs> what? Yeah, I'm totally ready. Totally. My attention's completely on this story. Yeah, you asked Same. if you wanted to start while still playing a video game. Yeah. Zane, I've stopped playing Soul Calibur while we've been reading this, and it's... Uh, well, it's I mean... It's horrible. I know, you, right? You don't have to stop playing Fire Emblem, but it would be nice if you were... It would be helpful. Yeah. I'm just trying to get to the point where everyone stops talking so I can save. Okay. So like, let's count down how long it takes. One. We're on page two. 195, which is the second chapter nine, because yes, there are two chapter nines in this story. Yes, yeah, from... chapter two, part two. Chapter nine, part two. Chapter two, two. Part one, 15. <laughs> Rise above. It's a good <laughs> thing I finally managed to get a Torterra, because that is my one bit of solace right now. His name is Turt Reynolds. You should have named him Turt Ronaldo. Well, for one, I'm pretty sure that the character limit wouldn't allow me to do that. For Tur <laughs> well, oh, Team Rocket got added. Oh, yeah, that, like, that's officially. a thing. So do you, like, fight Team Rocket or something? I they've, haven't been they've... able to get to the Pokestops where they've been in time. Yeah, they've they've taken over certain Pokestops, you have to go there and, like, either beat them or catch their Shadow Pokemon? I, I'm not yeah. sure on that I've, one. I found Shadow Pokemon at gyms. Mm -hmm. Because people have started putting them there. Also, apparently, like, this event's Pikachus won't evolve for the time being. Hmm. Which, that's kind of disappointing. <laughs> I wanted more Hat Raichus. <laughs> I caught... I caught a, um... Oh, what's it called? Uh, the, um... I caught a swab blue today, which is one of the most adorable things ever. I named yeah. him. I named him Cotton. <laughs> I mean, I ended up catching another swab blue because I need more candies in order to evolve another swab blue I caught. Mm -hmm. Also, I caught quite possibly the smallest Pikachu I've ever come across. It's smaller than literally every Pichu I've ever I've ever like hatched. So we talking like catch points ratings or just. It's, C uh, it's combat points, mm -hmm. not catch points. Cool, I don't play this game all that often. <laughs> That's what the whole play. thing is based on, is how good it is in a fight. Mm -hmm. It has a CP of 63. Oh, wow. Be I bear in mind her. that I once caught a Ursa Ring with, that, with about the same level. Hmm. 
Nice. Yeah, so I have four hatted Pikachus. Uh, Ted Turt Reynolds. Anyway. And I'm still walking Turt because I want more candy so I can make him bigger. Mm-hmm. Anyway, let's start this thing. Can I ask just one more? She entreated instead of answering my demand. I was on edge, anxious for the worst, and yet how tempting it was to prolong this moment, to have Bella with me willingly for just a few seconds longer. I sighed the dilemma and then said, one. Well, she hesitated for a moment, as if deciding which question to voice. You said you knew I had gone to the bookstore and that I had gone south. I was just wondering how you knew that. I don't know that. Oh yeah, I forgot, he stalked her. Yes. Mm -hmm. I glared at the windshield. She, uh, here was another question that revealed nothing on her part and too much on mine. I thought we were past all the evasiveness, she said, her tone critical and disappointed. How ironic. She was relentlessly evasive without even trying. Isn't it ironic? I R O N I C it. No, it's it's not. It's not. She's trying. She's not trying to be evasive. You just can't read her mind, so you can't invade her privacy. I got my girlfriend pregnant on my sterile uncle's pull-out couch. You need to talk about that. I was just <laughs> referencing the Bo Burnham song. Oh, that's who sings that. I was like, wait, yes. What? <laughs> <sighs> and every time there's a thing celebrating people of any minority, it becomes really apt to just start playing his song Straight White Male because of all the shit that starts co popping up on Twitter. <laughs> like what? Okay, well, for one, uh, last month during Pride Month, there were so many people like, well, why isn't Straight Pride a thing? It is. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, there isn't an event. <laughs> God damn it, don't you start with me. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like, there isn't an event because there isn't the history with straightness that there is with literally every other sexuality. <laughs> really? I thought it was that straight people get, like, 11 months and, you know, they only got one. <laughs> don't you start with it, me. I think, it's, I think it's fun how people like to watch how many of the, like, you know, corporations like are immediately off the gate the second pride month's over like you know how everyone turns to like flags to rainbows and all that like who's the yeah. one who does it last you know yeah well it's just a whole thing of like well why don't we get a pride event and it's like well for one you haven't had to deal with the literal centuries of repression of oppression yeah. that that everyone else has yeah my whole thing is like okay do we for straight people, do we really need a pride thing? And why do you care no. so much about getting something like that? That's dumb. You're dumb. Stop being dumb. Exactly. It's a whole thing of like, no one's ever shot up a bar you went to because of your sexuality. Yeah. Sorry, do you hear my dog barking? Yes, and I hear I... a lot of things in the background. All right. Do you need me We're to good. move to Thank you. Room? I mean, that's usually what you do. Do you want me? Yeah, I'm going to. All right. You guys well, go down the fort. I got this. I mean, it's a pretty big fort. I'm not entirely sure I can. That's why there are two of us. So, Well, she needed me to be direct, and this conversation wasn't going anywhere good regardless. Fine, then, I said. I followed your scent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's weird. It's so awkwardly <laughs> just... <laughs> No, it's really yeah. the only way that you could phrase it. I I guess, but like, it's just... There's no other way you could phrase that, Tom. No, yeah, you're right. I'm just... It's just funny to say it out loud. <sighs> that reminds me of the whole thing I'm going to have to deal with, with some of the other different races that are based more on animal-type things, and so how exactly their senses work. <laughs> Depends on the animal, I guess. I don't know. Honestly, it'd be really funny with the mer shark if I just make it to where it is actually stated that they're nearsighted. Yeah, that could be pretty funny. <laughs> so they like more more likely to recognize someone by smell than appearance. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Isn't it ironic? Yeah, you're back. I see. I in a war. I. You're not echoing or anything, right? 
Mm, I don't uh, hear you echoing. Really? It sounds a little bit different. Are you on your phone now or something? Yeah, I'd have to move my entire computer. That'd take a while. I don't want to do it. But I also figured out my headphones are broken, so I can't, you know, hear y'all very well. Okay. So can you hear us okay now? Yeah. Okay. okay. It's your line then. I have to open up the thing now. Yes. Mm -hmm. Stephanie Myers Midnight Sun PDF. Page 195. Time to scroll down to 195 pages. Pretty sure you could click somewhere to just go straight down there. Yeah. But I'm already there. Let's see. Uh... Your line starts with I wanted. Oh, that's where I am? Yes. I wanted postponing conversations? No. No. How about okay. that? I wanted to watch her face. Yes. Yes. But I was afraid of what I would see. Instead, I listened to her breath accelerate and then stabilize. She spoke again after a moment, and her voice was steadier than I would have expected. And then you didn't answer one of my first questions, she said. I looked down at her, frowning. She was stalling, too. You're always looking down on her. Which one? How does it work? The mind-reading thing. She asked, reiterating her question from the restaurant. Can you read anyone's mind anywhere? How do you do it? And the rest of your family? She trailed off, flushing again. That's more than one, I said. Yeah, I'm giving Bella way too much character with the voice. <laughs> no, that's one question, just with many different, you know, outcome Facets. answers. It's a multifaceted <laughs> question. <laughs> you know, kind of like on a test where you're given a long answer question, it has multiple parts, but it's all technically one question. Yeah. <clears throat> it's a series of related questions, ergo one question. Yeah. Your line. She just looked at me, waiting for her answers. Then why not tell her? She's or, she'd already guessed most of it, and it was e an easier subject than the one that loomed. Just sat over there, making ponchos. There we go. Uh, sorry, uh, we're on the new page, right? Yes. Okay. No, it's just me, and I can't hear anyone anywhere. To be fairly close. The more familiar someone's voice is, the further away I can hear them. But still, no more than a few miles. I tried to think of a way to describe it so that she would understand. An analogy that she could relate to. Analogy. Let's use D&D. &D. <laughs> <laughs> you see, it's like, it's like the awakened mind of the, uh, of the um, great you old see, one. There's this, spherical, there's this spherical area of a fact. <laughs> And I can technically hear everyone within that sphere. <laughs> it's uh, just a question of how how loudly I hear them. <laughs> it's a little like being in a huge hall filled with people, everyone talking at once. It's just a hum, a buzzing of voices in the background. Until I focus on one voice, and then what they're thinking is clear. Most of the time I tune it all out. It can be very distracting. And then it's easier to seem normal. I grimaced, when I'm not accidentally answering someone's thoughts rather than their words. I mean, it could be a lot worse. It could be a huge hole filled with cicadas. Yikes. Oh, that would be Nothing terrible. is more like a... Oh, I'm just gonna say it. Like, audio-wise, few things are as just, like, overwhelming as the sound of, like, several cicadas. Mm-hmm. Because it just fills everything. Yeah, they are very loud little things. I like them. Mm -hmm. They're not bad, they're just loud. It's the whole thing of like, if you're walking down a path and there's cicadas on both sides, it's just like, oh god! <laughs> <laughs> I can't hear anything. The world has become cicada. <laughs> the world is cicada. And that, kids, is what we call sonic damage. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta go fast. Now that's what that's what fast. thunder damage was called uh, prior fifth edition. It was called <laughs> sonic damage. 
Uh, now I'm just imagining someone actually making a monster sheet for the Tigrex and having it to where it actually does do so uh, like uh, thunder damage with its roar. Because that's uh, technically how it works in the game, is that it doesn't have an elemental attack. It's just that it can roar so loud it does damage. That's a loud thing. Yes. <laughs> I do not like this thing. <laughs> I really wish that there were monster sheets for more of the Monster Hunter game, uh, Monster Hunter monster, monsters than just the Devil Joe. Well, using the Devil Joe as a template, we could build some of the other sheets. Like, I would love to be able to run a Monster Hunter campaign, or like be part of a Monster Hunter campaign in D and D. Like, basically, you just have to limit the classes uh, as well as the races, mm -hmm. uh, and have it to where like the majority of the monsters are all coming from that stuff. Honestly, it might be easier to do a different system other than D&D &D to do a Monster Hunter campaign. <laughs> so we have to create a custom system for a Monster Hunter No, campaign. no, no, not necessarily. Just a different one other than D&D. &D. Maybe, <clears throat> maybe something kind of like the Monster of the Week system, but something just like has, that has more room character for character archetypes, it's more like weapon types. Yeah, something like that. Like weapon like classes, that. so you'd have it to where like, oh, the heavy gunner type and the uh, like... The gun, uh, the gun lance type, and the yeah. Okay, that could be interesting to try and do. Mm -hmm. God damn it! Now I'm going to be trying to figure that one out. Uh, one thing at a time. Maybe we can both work on that one after you get the um, all myths are true one or the unmasked. Yeah, the unmasked finished. Oh god. Honestly, that one's going to be funny with the pseudo Lamia race. Mm -hmm. Just allowing people to play as that. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway. So whose line is it? It's whose Zane's. line is it anyways? Zane's. Oh, shit. <laughs> Welcome to whose line is it anyway, where the rules are made up and the points don't matter. Why do you think you can't hear me? She wondered. Wouldn't that be more asking? Wondering mm -hmm. would be implying that she's not actually saying it. Or at least not to you. Like She's just openly saying it to no one. I gave her another truth and another analogy. I don't know, I admitted. The only guess I have is that maybe your mind doesn't work the same way the rest of theirs do. Like, your thoughts are on the AM frequency, and I'm only getting FM. They're dumb, that's what it is. There's really nothing going on in there. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, he just... It's like one day he's finally able to read Bella's mind, but rather than um, than actually hearing thoughts, it's just elevator music. Well, no, uh, spoiler alert for the last book in the franchise. But after becoming a vampire, she figures out how to voluntarily let him read her thoughts. Hmm. Yeah. Wait, he figures out how to read her mind? No, she figures out how to let him read her mind. There's a difference. Oh. Stop barking. Why is it barking? I'm just waiting for you to read your line. Did my dog just get outside? I don't know. My dad's mm -hmm. like screaming for my dog and I just hear the door open. <laughs> like she just opened it and ran out herself or something. So I'm just like, what the fuck? That's well, was it the front door or the back door? Oh, I know who showed up. Never mind. I'm, I'm uh, just... is it? I don't know, or I realized. I realized. I realized that she was not like the analogy. This anticipation of her reaction had me smiling. She didn't disappoint. My mind doesn't work right. My mind doesn't work right. She asked. That's just a weird. I... <laughs> yeah, you're stupid. <laughs> <laughs> work with. I don't know. I don't know. There's something about that phrase that that seems like it should be more. Okay. Uh. My mind doesn't work right, she's asked, her voice rising with chagrin. I'm a freak? Because that does oh, God, the phrasing seems like it's more accusatory than anything else. Because... Uh, maybe if it was like, you're saying my mind doesn't work right, that I'm a freak? Kind of like that, maybe? I don't know. Or like, I don't know, start with like an, oh my god. Or like, some sort of thing that's supposed to be like some form of shock and her thinking that she's the problem. Even though, weirdly enough, that's oh God, like how insecure do you have to be that your reaction to finding out that you're immune to mind reading 
is, dear God, there's something wrong with me. <laughs> um, that, huh? No, that's that's, that's interesting. It's an unhealthy level of like insecurity. Since when was you know he ever healthy? No, this is Bella's case. Oh, well, she's still not very smart either. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, the irony again. I don't think you know what that word means. <laughs> yes. You keep saying that word. I do not think you uh, that it means what you think it means. <laughs> I mean, I guess, yeah, the whole situation of the vampire finding it ironic that the human is calling themselves a freak, but it's just... You're using that word so much that it doesn't have meaning anymore. It starts losing its meaning. <laughs> ironic. <laughs> He could save everyone else, but not himself. I mean, but not the one he loved. I shall tell you the tale of Darth Plagueis the Wise. Have you heard the tale of Darth Plagueis the Wise? It's not a tale the Jedi would tell you. <laughs> Wait, then why are you telling me? I'm not a Jedi boy. <laughs> I, I, that's I'm basically how the that's basically how the conversation went. <laughs> And it was actually one of the few cases of world building that ever actually happened in the Star Wars universe, weirdly enough. It's happened in the extended universe, unfortunately. Well, yes, the extended universe, but we're talking about the movies as a bubble. Yeah. That's the is... important thing to think about. when. Uh, that's the important thing when it comes to the Star Wars universe, is that you do technically have to look at the movies in a bubble. Mm-hmm. Like, even before the sequels. Mm -hmm, because I know. the movies are what most people will be acquainted with. It was only like people that were overly invested in the world that were going out and like getting the books. Yeah, well, I've picked up a couple of the books, and some of them are actually really good stories and stuff like that. And perhaps I am over invested in the world of Star Wars, but I, don't I know. guess I just never cared enough about Star Wars in the first place to actually read the books. <laughs> yeah, well, that's that's the whole thing, though. Is like. What basically happened was like they were like, we want to see more of this world. We we don't we don't know like how much else is in it. And George Lucas like, well, write your own stuff. I am basically sanctioning fan fiction, and the good ones will be considered canon. The not so good ones will be a different canon type thing. It was. I'm just really. Back he to said that. all of it was canon, just not the same canon. It, it's that's pretty much how it works. It's well, a mess. They, all, it's they technically cool. all were the same canon, but then Disney bought Lucasfilm. Uh, uh, or was it LucasArts? No, Lucasfilm. Mm -hmm. Lucasfilm. And those became part of a separate canon. Which means that we don't have more of Boba Fett being an idiot. <laughs> oh. Because Rip. he fell into the Sarlacc pit two more times. <laughs> I think he learned it so <laughs> Ah, uh, shit. Here we go again. Everyone's like, oh, Boba Fett's so cool. And it's like, no, his armor's cool. He's always been kind of a bit of an idiot. Even in the Clone Wars series, he's been shown to be that way. I mean, his only, his only uh, appearance in the movies, again, looking at these in a, in a bubble, is him standing there menacingly, being told not to disintegrate people, and then getting his ass kicked by a blind man accidentally. Oh, uh, but yeah, Han Solo also was intimidated by the very name of Boba Fett, which made his fall from grace even more hilarious. Because yeah, it's the whole thing of, it's a show-don't-tell situation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they told, they didn't show. Like, mm -hmm. there is an implication, uh, or there's a long-running theory that Boba Fett is actually the person who killed uh, Luke's adopted family. That would be interesting. I need to read his but book. But that's never this. actually confirmed in any way. Mm -hmm. So it's like, okay, so there's maybe one thing we... There's one thing that he might have done that affected the story. But other than that, <laughs> a blind Han Solo accidentally hit him in the back. He flew into a wall and then fell into a sand vagina. Wait, yeah. I, what? <laughs> That's basically what happened to him. The Sarlacc pit is literally just like this large beaked thing that just. No, sits I know in that's the other the parts sand. that confused me. He, f he knocked him into a wall. Okay, basically, what happened when Han Solo turned around while blind? He smacked uh, Boba Fett's jetpack with which like a caused staff, it, which, which caused it made it malfunction, it... sending him careening into the wall of J uh, of Jabba the Hutt's sand cruiser. Mm-hmm. And then he fell to the ground and died. He fell to the ground, tumbled into the Sarlacc pit, and was basically trapped there for a few days. 
according to the extending universe, he was trapped there for a few days until he used some explosives to launch himself out of there. And then was found by some Jawas, who then accidentally drove into the same uh, the same Sarlacc pit in a vehicle in which they were holding Boba Fett. Because <laughs> here's the other important thing about Sarlaccs. Uh, basically, being eaten by one doesn't immediately kill you. The digestion You're process slowly takes years. digested. Yeah, years. Mm-hmm. Wow. Granted, you probably die within a few days. But that's besides the point. <laughs> I mean, I uh, guess you could eat the other people being digested. I love Star Wars. <laughs> but yeah, so basically, uh, in a bubble, Boba Fett is just a nothing character. <laughs> mm-hmm. Wow. <laughs> then someone's like, oh, I'm going to make him a badass and make him a Jedi hunter. And it's like, okay, but why, though? <laughs> <sighs> Kind of like the whole thing with everyone talking like, oh, Mandalorians were awesome. And it's like, okay. Well, they could have been. It's just the Boba Fett wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, true enough. But And then there's also the time George Lucas ended up accidentally causing a uh, Darth Maul game to never be able to actually be made. What happened? Basically, he like looked at two different character designs of characters that were supposed to be like born hundreds of years apart. One of which was Darth Maul, mm-hmm. and then like, and basically just like put them together and said friends. <laughs> and so the writing department was just like, oh, uh, I, uh, shit, <laughs> <laughs> because what it's because prequel time, no one was allowed to tell George Lucas no. And so the moment he said something, it was the law. And so these characters who had never met, no writing was done of them ever meeting, were suddenly declared to be friends, and the entire writing department had to rewrite the entire story of the game. (laughs) What game was it, just out of curiosity? It never got made, because of the fact that, like, soon after, like, everything went so wrong that they couldn't finish it. They just said, fuck this plot. I don't, I'm not dealing with this <laughs> shit. They had to rewrite the entire plot because George Lucas was just like, Freds. <laughs> and I'm beginning to think the problem with Star Wars is... Is George Lucas? George Lucas. And then more recently, <laughs> fan fiction writers who seem to have gotten a hold of it for the new sequel trilogy. Well, yes, but they're not <sighs> doing as bad of a job as George Lucas with no one to tell him no. I like I like the prequels better than the, the prequels new. are a guilty pleasure in that they're so horrifically bad that they're kind of funny. Mm, I, the I, sequels I ironically contain like the that. stuff that they're I watched fun. for uh, the original trilogy for that mm-hmm. being like slightly hokey stuff, mm-hmm. hokey kind of stupid, but not distractingly stupid. The prequels are distractingly stupid. <laughs> Now this is pod racing. <laughs> uh, nah. Are you an angel? <laughs> the sad thing about it, that line worked. <laughs> no, it didn't. <laughs> According to the writing, it totally did. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, yes, she has been seduced by this 12-year-old. <laughs> hey, hey, even NPCs can't get natural 20s sometimes. Come on. That doesn't change the fact that she was seduced by a 12 year old. Mm hmm. <laughs> I think that says more problem that, 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 that displays more problems with Padme than anything else. Yeah. <laughs> I uh, don't like sand. It's coarse, irritating, and it gets everywhere. As big of a fan as I am of Star Wars, I think we should probably get back to reading Twilight. I can't believe I just <laughs> said that. <laughs> oh boy, is it my line? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think uh, so, yes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, what the hell? I, op- <laughs> I hear voices. I, I just opened my phone back up and I like, refreshed the page back to page one. What the hell? <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> We're on uh, page 196. I hear voices. Yep, yes. I hear voices. I hear voices in my mind and your word that you're the freak. I laughed. She understood all the same things and yet the big ones she got back where it's always the wrong instincts. <laughs> because, you know, she's always getting into trouble. This is the only yeah. line like makes any goddamn sense. Mm-hmm. I hear voices in my mind 
and you think you're the freak? <laughs> Is it weird that I could actually imagine Ezra Cole saying something along the lines, just one of the characters in, like, Monster of Every Other Week just, like, says something about how they're a freak? It's like, dear fucking god. <laughs> <laughs> just one of those moments where she is like completely done well honestly if Casimir admitted that she would probably agree with him on that one well yes but that's because she hates him <laughs> good Casimir sucks I think it has more to do with the fact that he was instrumental in the near destruction of her world mm. yeah. just waiting for like you know Zephyr to wake up after the ass baiting and just be like, so Arlo, you're in cahoots with demons, huh? <laughs> oh, that's going to be a fun exchange. <laughs> no, no, it's not. <laughs> uh, I would fear for yourself. <laughs> oh, I mean, my God. Like, force him to go to church. <laughs> Zephyr is going to. <laughs> Zephy, rejected by God, still forces people to worship said God. <laughs> yep. I was about to say, oh no, oh dear God, Zephy's about to go full yandere. <laughs> I mean, she might. I'm accidentally pitting the party against each other too hard. <laughs> I would love that to happen, honestly. It would be hilarious. <laughs> you can retire uh, anyway. this character. They become a yandere. Oh dear God. <laughs> what happened? Well, you see, the angel turned evil. <laughs> The angel turned into an evil pal a chaotic evil paladin. That's <laughs> called a let's see, there's an oathbreaker paladin as an actual well, uh, archetype. I'm pretty sure you could have a chaotic evil paladin that is fully devoted to like true what is supposed to be a good god. Just look at the crusades. I would argue that'd be more lawful evil, but yeah, I see where you're coming from. I'm not entirely sure I would consider slaughtering cities lawful. Uh, they were doing it in the name of a cause they believe just, which kind of leans back to the lawful side of things. Yes, it doesn't change the fact the, that it was extremely wrong. There is the sort of thing of if you're taking great pleasure in just slaughtering people, I'm pretty sure it's pretending to be lawful evil. <laughs> That's how I get away with all my murders. Pretending to be evil. Or pretend, yeah, pretending to be lawful in which, like, no, you're actually playing chaotic evil. It's just yet you're telling people you're lawful evil. Because I'm pretty sure lawful evil would be more like centrifuge. and Going about things, like, through a veneer of diplomacy. And that thing. Like, having honor about how you go about things. Like, I'm evil, but I have a strong set of morals. Not, I'm slaughtering everyone who doesn't agree with me. <laughs> anyway. What? Bella was gnawing on her... Like... What? what? What if there are any knights during the Crusades who just kind of said, eh, I kind of like it here, I'm going to stay. There might have been. Yeah, there were a few. That's the thing, though. Yeah. The Crusades started out as trying to, as a just cause, thinking like the Holy Lamb, believing like... um, um people who were taking over the Holy Land were evil, so they were going to take it back because that was the place that was important to their religion. It was and then it kind of... three religions in the area. And then it devolved just into worse and worse happenings as it continued. Well, to get honestly, it gets really kind of just hilarious because what kept on happening is, like, the local Muslim population, which was uh, controlling Jerusalem at the time, basically being like, all right... You came here, you tried to conquer us, you failed, we'll give you this shit, now fuck off. Which is how, like, resources ended up being passed from, like, the Middle East to the rest of Europe. And then the church just decided to keep trying. It was a way to keep control, yeah. It didn't work. <laughs> no. What is this, a fucking consolation prize? Fuck that, I'm here for the real thing. And then they got nothing. <laughs> you, you can win us over with your falafel? <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, my line. Bella was gnawing on her lip. The crease between her eyes and uh, between her eyes was etched deep. I've never seen someone chew on their lip deep in thought. I don't know. I'll do that sometimes, but I'm weird. I don't know. When I chew on my lip, it's for very different reasons. 
I don't really have to chew on my lips. I lick them, though, just... <laughs> uh, don't worry, I reassured her. It's just a theory. A game theory. Thanks for... God damn it. I like how this just kind of came full circle from the beginning of the video. <laughs> and there was a more important theory to be discussed. I was anxious to get a it over. film with. theory. A film theory. Each passing second was beginning to feel more and more like borrowed time. <laughs> also, can I just say that I really can't stand, like, prediction theories? Eh, they're usually terrible anyway. Yeah, this is like a whole thing of you're thinking you can do better than the writers. Mm hmm. But I can. I'm a smart internet celebrity. People listen to everything I say. Because it's the whole thing. I have no issue with like the lore theories and stuff like that. It's just when people try to treat them as canon. Mm hmm. But it's like, oh, hey, that's an interesting way to look at things. I mean, some of them are obvious, like the Legend of Zelda uh, Majora's Mask Termina thing. Mm hmm. Like, the land is literally called Termina. Mm hmm. You fight what is heavily implied to be a dead link mm -hmm. near the beginning. Which is something that is entirely possible within Legend of Zelda due to the fact that Link reincarnates. Mm hmm. And so it's like, yeah, that makes sense. It seems kind of obvious given the story of the game as well as the fact that it's fucking named Termina. <laughs> and then there are other things. It's like, yeah, it's an, but it's just. Yeah, that's an interesting way to look at things. I don't necessarily believe it, but that's interesting. As well there's as the a, fact that death of the author is a thing for a reason. There's a line coming up that I think is a typo, but it's still hilarious. <laughs> I believe it's Zane's line. Mm -hmm. Which brings us back to you, I said, divided in two. Oh, shit. I didn't I'm swing my ahead. sword yet. Both anxious and reluctant. She sighed, still chewing her lip. Mm. That's my line. Oh. I think we should let Zane finish this line. <laughs> sure. Sure. <laughs> oh, I worried that she would hurt herself. She stared into my eyes, her face troubled. Is this the one that had the thing you were thinking was a typo? No, it's a couple it's a couple lines down. Aren't we past the old, uh, aren't we past all the evasions now? I asked quietly. She looked down, struggling with some internal dilemma. Suddenly, she stiffened and her eyes flew wide open. Fear flashed across her face for the first time. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh God. <laughs> Holy crow, she gasped. Dad, that's what I was talking about. You, you okay there, Lighter? Holy crow, dude. <laughs> it's so fucking stupid. Uh huh. Like I said, I but it's probably a typo. Probably no, it's not. The operative word there. It's probably not because Mormon. <laughs> we can't say crap. Crap is too hardcore. No, holy cow is another term that I've heard people yes, use. Yes, I've also seen holy crow used in things that are trying too hard to censor themselves because it both has C R. R is not anywhere near C or O. If it's intentional, that makes it even funnier. They're, like, it's the whole thing. R is not anywhere near C or, uh, C or O in a way that you could accidentally press it while typing. Therefore, it is most likely intentional. Like Typos like that are more likely to be the case whenever the letter is close by near to one of the other letters that is right next to it. Hmm. The closest letter it is, uh, it is to is W. And it's unlikely that it would have been hit there if it was a mistype with W. Mm hmm. True. It's just a really stupid way to censor yourself. Mm hmm. How do, you suspect, <sighs> how do you suggest people censor? Don't. Holy shit. She should have said, Holy shit. <laughs> I panicked. What had she seen? How, did, how had I frightened her? Hello? Sorry, I lost my place. <clears throat> yes. Then she, Bella should then have she, said, "Holy shit!" Then she shouted, "Slow down!" Holy shit! Slow down! <laughs> well, now I lost my thing. 
<laughs> What's wrong? I didn't understand where her terror was coming from. You're going 100 miles per hour. <laughs> she yelled at me. She flashed to look out the window and recoiled from the dark trees racing past. Racist. This little thing, just a bit of speed, had her shouting in fear. You're going I... over 100 miles per hour on a public access road. Yeah, unless it's that one freeway in Germany, yeah, it would probably make or anyone. In Texas. Eh, you can still drive the speed limit in Texas. I do that because I don't want to get pulled over. You're expected to go about 10 over. <laughs> no, I got pulled over when I went 10 over. I've so never I go... found a person who goes about the speed limit. I go about 5 over, usually. Depending on where I go, people go over the speed limit or don't. I also once almost got hit by a cop while going on, uh, while on a crosswalk. And it's not the cop was pursuing anyone. Yeah, no, cops tend to be the worst about stuff like that. It's like, oh, I'm a cop. I can do what I want and no one can pull me over. Responsibility, people. It's a thing. <sighs> Zane. Yes? Your line. Your line. <laughs> Sorry. I can barely concentrate because there's like a five-year-old in the house now and he's like screaming. They usually oh, do that. But uh, do y'all hear it? No. That's all that matters. I rolled my eyes. Relax, Bella. Are you trying to kill us? She demanded, her voice high and tight. <laughs> yes, actually, I hate myself and I want, and I want to do a suicide pact. <laughs> Oh, yeah. damn, you remind me of this, like, comic I read about, a, like, a bus driver who lost his family. Oh, god damn it. Do you know what I'm talking about? No, I don't. I'm okay, not but sure it's I just like to. the bus driver's talking to the passengers about how he lost his family, right? Mm hmm. Then suddenly he starts speeding up, and everyone's just like, wait, what are you doing? Then the bus driver turns back to everyone on the bus, and he's just like, I want somebody else to feel what it's like to lose family. Oh, dear god. Oh, that's. Like, dark huh. as shit. Yeah. I mean, I'm like for some reason I'm just thinking of that one role uh, that Christopher Walken had, in which he's like the brother, or, like the female lead in this one movie, mm -hmm. and like the male lead's talking to him because like the whole thing, male lead, female lead started dating or whatever, mm -hmm. and Christopher Walk Walken's just like, you know, every time going down that street, I just sometimes think to myself, I just. Ramming the car into a tree along the side. And then later, he's the one that drives the two home. <laughs> <laughs> and so the brother's just, like, on edge, like, oh, I mean, not the, uh, that, like, the boyfriend's just, like, on edge, like, oh, dear God. <laughs> like, he doesn't do it, but he's just like, ah. Oh. <laughs> I wonder if he was using some high-level psychological tactics just to mess with him. <laughs> uh we're not going to crash, I promised her. I say before we crash into the pole. <laughs> I hurtled through the windshield because I wasn't wearing my seatbelt. <laughs> Taking out several trees along the way. Slightly more level tone. Why are you in such a hurry? I always drive like this. I met her gaze, amused by her shock expression. You freaking sociopath. <sighs> Why don't girls like me? You're a sociopath. <laughs> then he just totally disregards what the Cosmic Owl, one of the literal gods of the universe, told him. Oh, you know ends... what? You're a nerd! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know what you are. You're a, a big, big nerd. nerd. <laughs> <laughs> then he flies off with his beard and he's like, and nothing was learned. Yet Ice King still remains the most interesting character in all of Adventure Time. Yeah, his backstory is just fucking fascinating. Mm-hmm. Hell, the one where he goes into it, I just was like, oh, dear God, this is, like, heartbreaking. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. He gets a happy ending, though, so that's good. I can't listen to the Cheers theme the same way again. Mm. Did somebody say Sans theme? No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Why not? It's What's called Megalovania for one. Yeah, it's called Megalovania for one. It's also Vriska's theme. <laughs> and, Vris and the Vriska version also has the guitar riff at the beginning. Yes, very nice. Is it my line? Did I lose my place? Your Keep line. your eyes on the road, she shouted. 
No, I said that one. You said that one? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I'm going to reiterate it because it's very important. Okay. <laughs> I've never been in an accident, Bella. I've never even gotten a ticket. The fuck? Because you outran the cops. <laughs> I grinned at her and touched my forehead. It made it even more comical. The absurdity of being able to joke with her about something so secret and strange. Built-in radar detector. See, it'd be more impressive if you had a radar scrambler. Oh, I guess it's the whole thing of, I can tell where the cops are with my mind reading. <laughs> but do you realize how hard you have to slam on the brakes? <laughs> yeah, at 100 miles an hour? <laughs> also, I wouldn't say that this is a comical situation. <laughs> it made it even more comical. Zero Does he, like, times... you know, run plus red lights too or something? <laughs> zero times two is still zero. <laughs> Well, the whole thing with red lights is the fact that there's typically traffic cameras on them. Mm-hmm. You can get a ticket if you uh, run them. Very funny, she said. Uh, very funny. She said sarcastically, her voice more frightened than angry. No, fuck you, she's angry. Charlie's a cop, remember? I was raised to abide by traffic laws. Be- besides, if you turn us into a Volvo pretzel around a tree trunk, you could probably just walk away. Probably, I repeated, then laugh and then laugh without humor. Yes, we uh, would fare. Uh, uh. <laughs> then, uh, uh, where did we? Yes, we would fare quite diff- differently in a car accident. She was right to be afraid, despite my driving abilities. But you can't. Oof. With a sigh, I left the car to drift to a crawl. I left the car. I lifted the car up. <laughs> it has flubber in the engine, so it can fly. I believe I can fly. <sighs> this is slow, she asked. She added to the speedometer. Almost. <laughs> Was this still too fast for her? I hate driving slow, I muttered, but let the needle slide another notch down. Oh, hey, Zane. Slow, she asked. The joke you made. Unless you were just reading ahead on a turn that wasn't yours. Probably both. Enough commentary on my driving, I said impatiently. How many times did you dodge my question now? Three times? Four? Her speculation is that horrific? I had to know. Immediately. Still waiting for your latest theory video. <laughs> <sighs> she bit her lip again, and her expression became upset, almost pained. Again, Oof. I don't think thinking hard when biting lips is involved. Are we, oh, wait, no, Zane's turn. What? It's, it's your line. I won't laugh, I promise, wishing that w- Not was... Not that one. one. I reined in my impatience and softened my voice. I didn't want her to... I won't laugh, I promised, wishing that it was only embarrassment that made her unwilling to talk. I'm more afraid that you'll be angry with me, she whispered. That's not healthy. I, f- I forced my voice to stay even. Is it that bad? Probably not. Pretty much, yeah. (laughs) She looked down, refusing to beat my eyes. The seconds five of them. The seconds passed. Go ahead, I encouraged. Her voice was small. I don't know where to start. Why don't you start at the beginning? I remembered her words. You see, long ago, the earth was a molten ball. I remembered her words before dinner. You said you didn't come up with your uh, with this on your own. No, she agreed, and then was silent again. I thought about things that might have inspired her. Get you started. A book? Movie? I should have looked through her collections when she was out of the house. No. No, you shouldn't have. Huh? I had no idea if Bram Stoker or Anne Rice was there in her stack of worn paperbacks. There was a copy of the book Blood and Chocolate. No, she said again. It was Saturday at the beach. You were glittering. Are you a fairy? 
<laughs> I don't mean like the ones with wings. I mean Irish folklore. Is your head detachable? <laughs> Suddenly, Ruru. I mean, dual hands <laughs> are technically fairies. Mm -hmm. They're fae. Yeah. Because fairy was originally just a term used to describe people of the mounds. The what? The mounds. Irish folklore. Or Celtic folklore. And Gaelic. Alright. Irish, Scottish, you know, that sort of thing. Yeah. So that includes leprechauns, clericons, uh, leonsads, cusiths, uh, ketsiths, redcaps, that sort of thing. Alright. Oh god, do I even want to try to make a red, like the red caps playable race? No. Because their whole thing is that they become more powerful when they have blood on their skin. <laughs> Jesus uh... fucking Christ. It doesn't have to be other people's either. <laughs> Hmm. This is for the this is for the parahuman one, for right? Unmasked, yeah. You're unmasked. <laughs> Congratulations, you stabbing me has only made me stronger. <laughs> I have less hit points, but I have much more strength. <laughs> I would play a cleric and purposely heal you every single time. Oh, no, I don't have like actual classes in that. It's more of a whole thing of you can buy skill po uh, like you can buy skills like using skill points that technically act kind of like a class system depending on which ones you go with. Mm -hmm. oh. Character customization at its finest. One of the things you can learn is uh, basically CQ. Where if you miss with a uh, if you miss with an attack using a uh, using a gun, you can then make like uh, like a bonus action melee uh, like melee. Uh, unarmed attack on someone within range. So I just slap them with a gun? Kinda, yeah. Isn't my Basically, life that fast? What? Yeah, it, it is your uh, it is your line. Jacob We've had Black? some... No. no. I hadn't Which expected one? that. I thought I read the one above that, the beach one. Okay. I hadn't expected that. The local gossip about us had never strayed into anything too bizarre or too precise. Is there a new rumor I'd missed? Bella peeked up from her hands and I saw this uh and saw the surprise on my face. I ran into an old family friend, Jacob Black, she went on. His dad and Charlie have been friends since I was a baby. Jacob Black, the name was not familiar and yet it reminded me of something. Sometime. Long ago I started I, st I, stared at, I stared out of the windshield, <laughs> flipping through memories to find the connection. I started out of the windshield. <laughs> leaps out of the driver's seat. <laughs> through the windshield. <laughs> There's a loud crash. Bella screamed as, we <laughs> as the car lost control. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a weird way to run yourself over. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just leap through the windshield of your own car and get hit by it. <laughs> that would, huh? <laughs> but of course, without vampire physiology work, it would wrap around him. <laughs> It'd be like when that train hits Hancock. Oh my gosh! <laughs> mm -hmm. I need to uh, watch that movie in its entirety. I've seen scenes from it. Think, uh, it let's see. His dad was one of the uh, Quillette leader, uh, elders, she said. Jacob Black, if frame Black, a descendant, no doubt. My racism t senses were tingling. It was as bad as it could get. Jake, I, Edward, now is no time to get racist. She knew the truth. She had to die. <laughs> Just. I would have to slaughter an entire Native American tribe. Wait, what? <laughs> my mind was flying through the ramifications as the car flew around the dark curves in the road, my body rigid with anguish, motionless except for the small automatic actions it took to steer the car. Zane. Zane. Hello? It's your line. 
So, sorry, my like Discord just broke. It disconnected me. Huh. Well, you're back, so that's good. So, what's my line? She knew the truth. She knew the truth. But if she learned the truth Saturday, then she'd known all evening long. Yet. We went for a walk, she went on, and he was telling me about some old legends. Trying to scare me, I think. He told me one. She stopped short, but there was no need for her qualms now. I knew what she was going to say. The only mystery left was why she was here with me now. Go on, I said. About vampires, she I was breathed. thinking of, like, so many weirder things that could possibly be said there. Are you a Penangalan? <laughs> <laughs> Are you the goat man? <laughs> Are you Sasquatch? <laughs> Uh, Let's see, how much weirder can we get? How much weirder can we get? Uh, we need Jersey some obscure devil. shit. No, no, we need obscure shit. Uh, no. Ah, fuck. Oh, God, I should know these ones. Uh, Are you a Mino Minotaur? Half man, half Minotaur? <laughs> <laughs> Are you a Sigtor? <laughs> uh, Are you an Angate? Are you a Lamia, like from Monster Machine? <laughs> My grandpa really likes that show. I don't know why. Are you the medieval Lamia, where you have the body of a lion covered in fish scales, but a woman's head and breasts? Are you actually a woman, Edward? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I'm trying to think of something, and I can't. <laughs> I have like an entire. Okay, let's let's see what what I can find. Uh, are you a knuckle V? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, what's like the most oh, obs- what, what's what the weir- what's the weirdest race I have on the list? Are you a manticore? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Are you an Akaname? Edward, are you just some edgy dude? <laughs> oh, are you an Alicante? Now that's new that's a we- that's an interesting one. Are you just three gnomes in a trench coat? <laughs> Three halflings in a trench coat. Tell no one! <laughs> Are you a Baha one? I mean, Masa one? Alright. Is it my line? I, I, I lost uh, track. Yeah, it's my line. About vampires, she breathed. The words less than a whisper. Are you a Cyclops? <laughs> <laughs> It, somehow, it was even worse than knowing that she was new. Hearing her speak the word aloud, I flinched at the sound of it and then controlled myself again. Are you one of those Native American deer women things? What? <laughs> That's a thing. You're telling me I can fuck a deer and not be sent to jail? Well, no, it would likely lure you to your death. Basically like sirens, but if instead of a siren, it's a, it's a female centaur who's like, upper body is that of a Native American woman, and lower body is a deer. Oh, she'd probably just kick me in the head and see, like, give me my land back, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, she leads me to, like, the, um, what, what was that, what were all those sex people talking about haunted ground, like, haunted Native American burial ground? She just leads you yeah. there. <laughs> and uh, like, it's on top of a Walmart now, or, like, under one. <laughs> just lets the angry spirits tear you apart. <laughs> Are you a Fudakuchiona? <sighs> Are you just an Oni? <laughs> I could have said Dodo Meke, which that would have been really weird because that means his arms would have been covered in eyes. Are you Krampus? <laughs> Are you an Odagoron? <laughs> Are you Santa? <laughs> <laughs> Are you the Easter Bunny? <laughs> Are you a Gremlin? <laughs> no. He Are you five your family? Gremlins wearing pants? <laughs> Wearing a pair of pants and a t-shirt. <laughs> Are you a bunch of imps in a meat suit? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm just trying to figure out how, like, stupid we could go. Are you a Yoten? Are you actually a bear? 
<laughs> you Sir your Barrington. Body full of Smurfs. That's exactly what I was referencing. <laughs> full of Smurfs? How would that work? <laughs> <laughs> There's an entire Smurf village inside of Edward. <laughs> oh, Smurf. Yeah, they had to go mobile because of Gargamel. <laughs> oh god. Are you an actual cannibal, Shia LaBeouf? <laughs> oh shit. Is it my line? Are you a Malu sign? I think it is your line. Um yeah. wait, hold on. No. No, you you read the somehow it was even worse, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so it'd be my line. <laughs> and you immediately thought of me? <laughs> I asked. No, he Mentioned your family. How ironic that would be Ethereum's own progeny that would violate the treaty he vowed to uphold. A grandson or great grandson, perhaps. How many years has it been? 70? I did with no, the legend. You're right. He, she uses I, uh, irony and ironic way too much. Like, technically, the situations in which it's being used are kind of ironic, but it's just overused to the point mm -hmm. where it no longer means anything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Isn't an ironic I R O E C I N O R I <clears throat> Ironic I R L. <laughs> that was stupid even by my standards. Yes. <laughs> Don't worry, I enjoyed it. Thank you, Zane. Uh let's see. That makes one of us. <laughs> Did someone say the no he mentioned your family? Okay, that was Zane. Yeah. Uh, no, I should have I should have realized it was your line, I believe. Yeah, I should have realized that it was not the old man who old men who believed the legends that would be in danger. Of course, the younger generations, those would have those who would have been warned but would have found uh would have thought the ancient superstition is laughable. Of course, it was uh that was the danger of exposure uh that is where the danger of exposure would lie. Oh no, some people who don't think vampires exist are spreading rumors about the Kellens being vampires? <laughs> well, guess we have to burn down the town. <sighs> and you realize how stupid that sounds, Edward, right? Edward's not the smartest cookie. Give, give no. him some. I don't Just... think he's even smart enough to be a cookie. Oof. Unless <sighs> it's like one of those fucking cookies that you find in the tent, like the short... What is it, shortbread ones? Oh, uh... uh... Like sure. those really shitty ones that end up in cookies. He's a raisin cookie. I like raisin cookies. Raisin cookies are good. So are shortbread cookies for that matter. So screw you, Lydic. <laughs> the ones that are in like tens of, of like knitting supplies? Uh, no. No, I thought you were thinking shortbread like the Girl Scout cookies. They're plain and they're really good. I was talking about those ones that are all in the metal tins. Those are terrible. <gasps> oh, oh yeah, no. Okay, yeah. I'm trying to no, you're just some shitty success... Suspicious gas station cookie. That's what you are, Edward. <laughs> what, what does this even mean? No, I, I know exactly what it means, actually. <laughs> that frightens me. <laughs> I'd say he's more like gas station sushi. <laughs> yeah, run by some guy who you don't even know. He like, does like proper safety measures in the back for the food. Like You're pretty sure if you go into the cooler, everything's open and just... Ugh. I thought you were just going to say run by some guy you don't know. Well, most like, of them are. It's run by some guy you don't know. I, 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 think, that's the, I think that's normal. All right, don't take this the wrong way, but, like, I've worked in a lot of gas stations in the back because I've worked, you know, for a company that puts beer everywhere. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I've been to some pretty, like, sus gas stations. Mm-hmm. And it's just some of the runs run or in like really poor areas that I wouldn't really trust. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's what I was trying to get at. But I didn't want to like, you know, blame them because a lot of those people aren't like a lot of those people are just screwed over when they get moved, like moved to America. Like it's not their fault. Yeah. Like, I don't know if you know this, but like a lot of that was a people move to this country and they like take franchises from like gas stations and stuff in places that nobody wants to take them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then all the safety people are little pussies who don't want to go out there because I think they're going to get shot so nobody, you know, regulates them either. <clears throat> it's just a big... Uh, what's the word? Clusterfuck. That's what I was trying to say. Yeah, Uncle. there's a lot going in that like makes it so you're like, I would never want to come in here again and eat food. 
Yeah, and then it's to the point, it's like, okay, you have a job to be uh, health inspectors for a reason. Now get off your high horse and actually do your job. Mm-hmm. Ugh. Uh, okay, Who, is it my line now? Uh, I believe so. Wait, okay. uh, yeah, it would be your line. Oh, I hate this line. I suppose this meant I was now free to slaughter the small defenseless tribe on the coastline where I so inclined. If frame Holy his- shit, Edward's a ranger. I want to argue, but I can't. <laughs> his, his favorite enemy is Native Americans. <laughs> uh, probably more. Uh... <laughs> if Frame and his pack of protectors were long dead, I suppose he'd be an evil ranger. I'm sure there, those are things. Either that or chaotic stupid. <laughs> chaotic stupid can be any um, any alignment. Though is the thing. <laughs> it's He's a lifestyle. Evil. He's just an idiot. <laughs> mm-hmm. He just thought it was a silly superstition. Bella said suddenly, her voice etched with a new anxiety. He didn't expect me to think anything of it. Uh, the corner of my eye, or saw her hands twist. Uh, I saw her twist her hands uneasily, almost as if she were plotting something. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna have to stop now because there's child screaming, and I know for a fact that in a few seconds he's gonna start banging on my door or something. Mm-hmm. Okay. And a lot of people are going to start bothering me about dinner and just ugh, so. I mean, it's been just over an hour, so. Okay, that sounds like a plan to me. Oh, dear God, I still just see the Scottish Pokemon trainer with the lazy eye. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Where is his camera? I don't even know. Because, <laughs> like, for that to happen, it usually has to be at a weird angle. Yeah. I should get crowded. Alright, though, boy, boy. Oh, God. Anyway, see you guys next time.